Hey friends, uh, Sanjay with Lies in Marketing. I hope you're doing good. Well, Black Friday is here. And what basically is Black Friday? Uh, let me tell you something. So you may think that you're getting good deals, but the reality is, let me tell you, I used to work for a company. Um, somebody hired me for Amazon to sell electronics. And, you know, the electronics market changes so rapidly that it's like, I mean, it has to go. And that's what Black Friday is about. That means these companies, if, if, you, if you are stuck with a product on your Amazon store and you just can't get it out, you know, this is the day you want to take that action. Two things will happen when you do this. Number one, you're going to get rid of your inventory for sure. Number two, you're going to increase the performance of your store. Because the more the moment you have on the store, the better you're going to see the performance. And this performance is very, very necessary for your business. So. Anything that you are not selling, you you instead of liquidating it, take it out. Black Friday, just push it out, you know. But let's look at Timu. Timu has become my best friend now. <laughs> I'm getting so many customers from just because I make video on Timu. Timu. So many customers. My God, I'm like whole day like ding ding. ding. <laughs> But it's fun. No complaints. It's fun. I enjoy doing doing this stuff. And I enjoy talking to new people. You know, it's just, it's about networking, getting to know each other better. Let's look at Timo. Black Friday up to 90% off. That's a good deal. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump on deals. <laughs> That's that's what I do every Black Friday. I wait for this day. It does not matter to me if they're cleaning out. You know, there's so many products that most Amazon sellers don't even know about. And this is the, the uh, you know, like we say in the U.S., uh, it's the land of opportunity. Well, Black Friday is the opportunity for business to grow your business. So what do you really look for? Let me tell you what I do. I do basically is uh, let's say for example i'm selling uh, barbecue products right and the way that i do it if it's a seasonal item like barbecue products is a seasonal item mostly in the summer it will sell really good in the summer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a listing with a bunch of variations number one and with the variations i'm going to also create that listing with something different. It's like offering a product, but with other, other products. And the way to do it is you're going to go here and you're going to go from price low to high. Simple as that. Now what you do is you grab these deals, 27, 48 cents, you know, the knickknacks that, <laughs> that is gonna add value to your business, that is gonna add value to your product. So the main product will be one thing, but you want to get the accessories in. And this is, I mean, since Timu have launched, Timu has launched, man, my Amazon has gone zoop like this because I'm always looking for deals. You know, I'm always looking for, for opportunities. Because if I go, like, for example, let me give you an example. This brush kitchen, let me expand this. Okay. This oil brush. Man, I'm going to end up buying in the dollar store for $1, this brush, okay? If I go to China and I buy this product, I got to buy thousands of them in order to get this price. There is no way, man, I'm freaking spending thousands of dollars on just one individual item. No, it doesn't work. I mean, Timo is like a blessing from God. It's like, here, take it for yourself. So what you do basically is you look for opportunities. Get your main product, go on Timu, and buy these accessories, these cheap ones, you know? It's like almost sold out. Okay, so what? 
go in there, buy 100 units, and then let them send you whatever they can. There, there's no loss to it. You know, get the scrubbing. The scrubbing is very important when you're barbecuing. 50 cents, man. You can't get it 50 cents anywhere in the stores nowadays. It's impossible. Okay, so this one right here is 27 cents one piece. This one is giving, see here, 62. They show, they, they, they trick you. They show you who, in fact, they trick me also. <laughs> All right. But, you know, you get the idea. Buy like few items. Like each item, buy like 50, 100, 500, 500 units at a time. Doesn't matter how many they sell you. Just get advantage of it. And then when you're selling the main product, then you include this main product with this accessory. This main product with two accessories. This main product with all the accessories. So you see now you got the main product. That's the parent listing. Then you have each of the accessories that you're going to list. That's another listing. And then you're going to group them together and you make freaking 10, 12 variations from one listing. What's your loss? There's no loss. You're not going to get cheaper than this. But yeah, on Amazon, there is money for this stuff. You know, a lot of sellers don't know. I mean, a lot of buyers don't know that Amazon, in my opinion, is the most expensive. I'll be honest with you, straight up. I have seen products cheaper on eBay. I have seen products cheaper in the stores. But Amazon is... <laughs> it's a service. They're giving you service. One day, two day service. So, okay, who cares? You know what? As long as you don't know Amazon is more expensive, I didn't say anything. I mean, they, because, you know, with the FBA fees and all the crap fees they have, I tell you something, man, they, they make billions of dollars, man. But it's okay. You know what? Um, Look at it. Stainless barbecue. So if you group these items together, then you can really, really, you know, you know, the more you offer, it's like somebody's looking at barbecue accessories. So let's look at this. Uh, Amazon, Amazon, uh, set of barbecue accessories. I, okay, look at it. Wow, 79 bucks. Crazy, man. <laughs> 18, 19. I mean, if you can get these at 50 cents each, which I'm probably sure. You will get it on Black Friday, 50, 62 cents each. Still, your cost is three bucks, man. Another, let's say, seven, eight dollars Amazon fees. So, what do you lose? You still make eight, nine bucks easily, right? Uh, let me see if somebody has. Here you go. Here's this one guy giving the entire tools, okay? 24 bucks. So many reviews. I mean, look, you, you buy the stuff. And then you make your own packaging. Either you get from China or you get from Uline. Get from wherever you like. Make a beautiful packaging of your own. Take the team of products. Stuff it in there. Zoom. So, look at this guy. 40 bucks for this. <laughs> but look, it's possible, man. Everything is possible. You just got to become creative. If you aren't creative, tell me. I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to look at. I'm going to actually look at what's more demanding in the Amazon industry on any given product. And I'm going to tell you, my friend, do this, do that, do this, do that. Group it together, sell it. What's the worst going to happen? It's not going to sell. <laughs> it's not going to sell. You wait for Black Friday and you, you liquidate it. But on the other side, you improve your business. You know? Yeah. All right, let's see some good stuff. Christmas is coming. Get ready for Christmas. Now, now if you're going to buy now, it's almost to the end. But you can always buy for, for the next season, okay? I like home decor products. Home decor. Why? Because it sells throughout the, throughout the year. So it's, it's, there's, there's no loss. You will always make money on home decor products. Okay, uh, look for deals, look for things that's, that's, that's the client demand. Now, how do you look for that? Let me tell you something. I'm going to share with you a tip, 
okay? And you're going to do your own research, okay? I'm going to save you 50 bucks. That's how much I charge 50 bucks to do simple research for you. Well, I do all one hour, but just for you to understand how to do research, okay? Let's close this one and let's go to this one here. Okay, home decor products. Let's find a product. Farmhouse. Let's find a product that is small, lightweight, and demanding. Okay, you if you buy something bigger with a lot of weight, you're going to spend a lot of money on FBA fee, especially if you are a brand new seller. You don't want to make that mistake. You want to make it small, lightweight, less expensive, more profit. Okay? That's 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 the way I work. <laughs> or I do the opposite way. Volume sellers, man. I, I, I have few products that I only make 3 to 5%. Even after doing PPC, I make 3 to 5%. But I don't worry about those products because they're volume sellers. They just sell every day, a couple of hundred pieces every single day. I make this much profit, but it's okay, as long as it's moving. And this time of the year, I'm always looking for deals. So if there's something I have in my inventory, and I find it here even cheaper, you know what? I get a few thousand. Just let it go, because I know it's going to sell. And if it doesn't sell, then you'll find me over here on uh, Black Friday on Amazon liquidating my product at a very cheap price. I'm not going to give it away. All I'm doing is building the performance of the store because here's how the algorithm works. When your store has a constant loop of sales, the algorithm sees the sales. So, oh, okay, this guy is selling 20 units every day. Now he's doing 30. Now he's doing 50. Now he's doing 300. That improves your... That improves your, what you call a performance rate. That performance rate, when it improves, your bestseller ranking goes down. So the lower the ranking goes, the better sales you're going to make. So remember that. And the trick to this is, I'm going to tell you a trick to PPC. Okay, those of you who are new to PPC, don't play around. It's the most dangerous thing on this planet that PPC is. So it's like a... It's like a nightmare. But if you are a professional in PPC, during Black Friday, man, just bid it down. Put it to the lowest bid. Don't even bother rising your PPC up because it's going to shoot up so high. And I'm going to tell you something. Your ACOS is going to go skyrocket, rooftop. So what I do with the PPC is I, I bid like, 10 cents, 20 cents. I don't even go like crazy because I know there's a lot of sellers, a lot of sharks in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so let them fight. <laughs> I want to stay away from the fight. I don't want to get included. I'm here to make money just like everyone else. You want to fight? You want to do whatever you want to do? Go do what you like. I'm not interested. I want to see at the end of the day, I want to see profit in my pocket. That's all I care. That's what I'm here for. And if, you, if you're going to take my service, that's what I'm going to do for you also. Okay, but anyways, let's look at products that we can find on Amazon that is probably demanding, but less expensive. Let's look at this. Sun catchers I know used to do really good on Amazon. I used to sell actually sun catchers, beautiful items. You know, you put this by the sun and your whole room in the background is like colorful. So let's see this one if we can. Uh, Tree of Life Sun Catcher. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon, Amazon. Let's go, Amazon. Come on, make this a winning product. Okay. Ah, perfect. What I wanted to see. Okay, this is what you do. You're going to look for products on Timu. The first thing and the foremost thing you're going to do is you're going to type the product, the main product. Second thing, you are you are going to look for this right here, the results. Why? Because you don't want to sell a product that has tens and thousands of competitors. 
you're never going to make it. I'm going to tell you, you're never going to make it. So you want to make sure that this, where did it go? That this number is below 1,000. If it's below 500, even better. If it's below 100, much better. If it's below 10, God bless you. And if you are below 5, 4, 3, 2, Clap hands for you, okay? Now, I saw the product that I like. $2.89. Let's scroll down on the first page and see if anybody's carrying this particular product. There you go. There's this guy. Uh, similar, but not the same. But but it's it's similar to that product. So 12 bucks is what they're selling. And it's on a Black Friday deal. And if it's not on a Black Friday deal, then uh, it's $14.99. Now, the first thing, you're going to look at how many sellers are selling this product. But when you go down, you're going to find out very few. Out of $6.94, you're going to probably see like 10 or 12 of those uh, people are selling this. Second thing, what you're going to look for is the reviews. Okay. This guy's one review means he's a brand new seller. Okay, this guy has no reviews. This guy is 326. So what you want to do is you want to look for at least five competitors that are above, above 100 reviews. If you cannot find five competitors on the first page above 100, jump on that item, okay? If you find five, then look for another five. Look for 10. If you find 10, don't even jump on it. <laughs> don't even bother, okay? Because it's very important. You don't want to play with the sharks. I am a small fish. I'm, I'm still a small fish. I don't want to get eaten by a shark. Okay, so let's see. It's some beautiful products, man. They're really home decor, I tell you. It's amazing, amazing product. Okay, there's the fourth guy. Again, he's brand new. I don't worry about him. Here's one, 22, good. So this looks like a winning product to me. Okay, uh, let's see, first page, first page. I only found one seller with very high reviews. Uh, let's see. Oh. So definitely yes, man, definitely yes. One seller only. So who's your competitor? I don't know if you have seen my past videos or not, but if you're new to the channel, let me tell you who's your competitor. Not the guy who's making 300 reviews. Your competition is all of these people that are on Amazon that don't have a clue what they're doing on Amazon. That's your competition. Man, you can just go boom, <laughs> grab all your sales. It's that easy. I, I know how to do it. <laughs> uh, what is it that these guys are missing out that this guy isn't? What is it that this seller is doing over here? Where did he go? What is it that this seller is doing that the others can do it. He knows how to play the game. These other ones, they're there, but they don't know what they're doing. So definitely, yes, for a sun catcher, okay? Let's look at some other products. Let's see if we can find some interesting. I mean, I'm, I, this is like out of the blue. Now look at this. There's some really beautiful designs. But if you come back on Black Friday, you might even find these for dollar, under a dollar. And definitely grab them. Then you can see. Then you can make this. I'll tell you how you do it. Then you make. Let's say you bought six of those. Okay. And let's say a couple dollars each. You're going to make a separate variations of each. Then you're going to pack them double. Sort of one piece. Now you're going to offer two pieces. Why two pieces? Two pieces of the same. Why? Because sometimes. Okay. I'll give you two reasons. I always give you two or three reasons. Number one. They might have a second home. 
another reason they might want to put the same design in somewhere else, some other location. The second main reason is because of the packaging of the product, you're going to make one packaging. Let's say the FBA fees for this product is six bucks, right? You're going to do a two pack, which is just going to increase the size of the box by a little bit. If one product you're getting charged $6, the next added product in the same box, your FBA fees will be 25, about 50 to 70 cents roughly. Now, which is more profitable for you? Selling it as one or selling it as two? Definitely selling is at two because you save the money on the FBA fees. But on the other side, you are increasing your profit margin. The third variation you can do is you can make a combination. You know, you can make a combination of all six, make a combination of two different, play around with the designs, you know, this with this, this with this, this with this. Launch it. It doesn't hurt. And see which which variation gives you the best response. Then go and hit it hard. Okay? These trees are amazing. But I know they got they got so packed, they got so flooded that it's not even... Uh, this is beautiful, okay? <laughs> Let's look at other home decor products. Go for it, man. Go after these deals. Don't go after these high prices. Go after the cheap ones. You're new to Amazon. Go after the cheap ones. Try it out. Build your store. List the products. If it's too difficult for you, call me. <laughs> I'll help you. Uh, let's see what's this. This is an interesting. This is a hand to hold the cables. Hello. Excuse me. Some really, really interesting products here. You can use these pouches to do crystals, to do sand, to do jewelry, to do stones, um, uh, shells. A lot of stuff, you know, these things are like, if you're creative, man, you can do a lot of stuff with these products. Okay, let's move on to my next favorite it is called the kitchen. Kitchen. I don't know about cooking, but I love to eat, okay? If you're a good cook, send me some food. Man. I won't say no to you, okay? I, I hate going in the kitchen. And the worst thing is I hate doing dishwashers, so washing the dish. I hate it. <laughs> but I can, but I can, uh, I can take out a lot of dishes for you by eating. Okay. Uh, let's see. This pineapple slicer has always been the best seller. I, I actually sell this product in back, back like eight, nine years ago. Man, I used to sell them for 25 bucks easy. I used to. It used to fly. Today, it's like, it's like this is like one of the products where you make 3% profit. But it still sells. You know, there's there's some products that still, still sells. Pineapple, slicer, peel cutter. If you want to join the game, come join the game with me. Pineapple, slicer, something. I don't know, man. I'm just tired. I'm misspelling everything. <laughs> you see? 755. Now, this is what I mean. So let's say you found a product. Let's say you found this product and you think it's amazing. And you say, okay, let's do it. Now, first thing is you got to look at this one. Okay, because I spelled it wrong over here. Something I did wrong. Let me see. Normally, um, Amazon automatically gets it. Let's see. It's 243 because, I, okay, there's 243. Okay. But this is what, even though you saw the results here, 243, you mo you're going to say, oh, you know what? I got a winner. The second thing what you're going to do is look for the reviews. <laughs> Don't get fooled, man. Don't get tricked by Amazon. They're, they're tricky people. You're looking for reviews five, well, 100 and above, 500 above. But here you go. Let's say 500 above. You got one right here. 
You got two right here. You got three. You got four. That's it. Done. That's those are the same ones. This is five. You got five. Forget it. Don't even think about it. Okay. It's not worth it. But when you come to tools and utensils, you can buy a lot of knickknack stuff, you know, a lot of small, small things. Group them together, find your main niche, your main product niche, put all the crap in there, and there you go. So, for example, let's say you want to do this one. <clears throat> you want to sell this uh, drain rack, okay? You want to sell the drain rack kitchen drain rack, put it this way. Oh. Kitchen drain rack. So you want to sell this product, right? We're going to look for... Okay, there we go. <laughs> 3,000. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. But I'll still share an example with you. You saw a product like this one. See how this is? This is put on the sink. Like before the sink, you know, where you put the little bit of accessories over there. So you're going to search for a product like this. And you're going to look at the accessories. You know, the focus here. Oh, excuse me. The main product, and uh, let me change this one because the drain rack or sponges. Uh, let me be more specific about the product. So let's see. This should drop, okay? Because the more specific you get, goes goes bottom. Should supposed to go bottom. So let's see what we got there. You see, went down from 3,000 to 1,000. Okay, so there is this one guy. Ah, he's selling exactly, I think it's not quite exactly, but almost there. So, still a 1,000. Let's see. This one is 24. Oh, my best for dishes. Let's see sponge ones. So 1439, 16.98. It looks like a good product. No, I don't see. I don't see what I'm really looking for. 11.83. Uh huh. 84. Yeah, uh, it's on a thousand, which is right there on the spot. But uh. Twelve eighty five. I don't see any big. I don't see any big numbers, like the reviews. So looks like a good. Well, this one guy has four fifty seven sixteen bucks. So it's similar to what what this guy is selling. Very similar. So yeah. I would do it. Okay. So 778. You buy the accessories, 20, 30 cents. Let's say the whole thing costs you nine bucks. This guy is selling for 16. Not worth it. It just doesn't add up. Why? Because the FBA fees on this product, because it's bulky, it's probably going to be another eight, 10 bucks. So is it worth it? No. Unless you can sell it at $25, $30, but it's not going to work on this product. Okay, so kitchen, this, that. Let's look at the fur, fur, fun stuff. Electronics. Now this, <laughs> this, my friend, my friends, this is where it gets really aggressive, okay? This is where you got to stop thinking that you're going to be a millionaire <laughs> soon. 
you will sell high volumes, but these are low profitable products, okay? You are going to sell high, high volumes, but low profitable. Now, if you're new to Amazon, stay away from electronics. Stay away from children products. Stay away from electronics. Stay away from, um, what do you call the vitamins, supplements. Don't even bother. It's not worth it, okay? First thing is Amazon is going to restrict you. Second thing is, it's too competitive, man. Those those fields are too competitive. Okay. As you can see, I used to sell these mini fans, man, two, three years ago. I sold. <laughs> I was selling 25,000 pieces in a month. 25,000 pieces in a month. Okay. But it's gone. Even if somebody sells it to me for one penny today, I will not buy it. <laughs> it's that competitive. Even if you give me for free, say, Sanjay, take it for free. I'm going to say, no, thanks. I don't want it. <laughs> it's more expensive for me to sell it than even, no, thank you. So, <laughs> let, let me tell you, free is never free, so. <laughs> yeah so that's it uh let's see trying to find now these batteries are always good sellers but you want to stay away from battery product because amazon is going to first thing is amazon is going to tell you ensure the product ensure the your products show this certificate that certification it is not even worth it getting into batteries okay be very careful. Even charges, solar charges. I had a customer, man. They used to do so good on solar charges. But then they just became worse and worse. And oh, I don't want to get into really, really bad situations I've seen with people doing electronics. So I personally sell. No, I don't even sell. I don't even want it. It's it's such a headache. It's a good seller, but it's a headache. I stay, I mean, there's thousands of items out there that you can make money on. I mean, something like this, forget it. Uh, let's see, let's find the item. Uh, here we go. This one, my friends, this one is amazing. High profit, high competition, high everything. But it sells. Man, people love their pets. I have two puppies myself. Cute ones. They're small, tiny ones. They look small and tiny, but they're really, but they're really, really mischievous at all. <laughs> okay. So look, this is a nice product. So in the pet products, make sure to buy a few knickknacks here and there. Grab it together and make it a nice, you know, a nice listing. Now, if you ever want to do leashes, leashes is going to sell no matter what. It's just going to sell. Dog beds, good. Cat beds, beds are good. The only problem with beds is that they're bulky and it's just not, there's no, you know, there's no, no, nothing over there. Uh, the vest is good. The sweaters are good. This one is a very, very good product. The only thing is, if you are an international seller, okay, if you are an international seller or if you are an Amazon seller living in the United States, buying it from China, you need to get the pesticide certificate. I will tell you, man, it is crazy, this product, but it sells. It sells a lot. I have, uh, I, I know this product. I did it for a couple of customers. They used to sell this for like $40 and up. And I used to wonder, man, how they make money, but they made, they made money. Okay. This one sells really good. The, <laughs> this one brings back memories. I used to sell this one, man. I always think about it. Should I go back and sell these poop bags? I mean, 
the margin is this much per cells. Every single day, man, it sells. I, I, used to, I, I actually got out of it last year. I sold it for like a few years. But I'm thinking, man, should I go back? <laughs> because it is something that's necessary. Every home has dogs, man, over here. So, yeah, they have puppies. It sells good. It's just amazing. Car seats for dogs. Car seats for dogs are becoming very popular now. So that's one thing you should definitely look at. Uh, this one is for grooming. You know, if you want to groom your own puppy at home, because crazy, man, these groomers are crazy out there. I'll tell you something. I don't groom my own puppies, but <laughs> I want to. Because, you know, I used to pay in the beginning when I first got them. I used to pay like $40, $30, $40 for grooming. Then it went to $50. Then it went to $60. Now they don't charge less than $80, $90 for grooming for a haircut. I mean, I'd rather be bald. Man. I, when I go, I make them bald. It's like crazy. $90 bucks for a haircut? This doesn't cost me anything. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm I'm just pointing out the good sellers if you want to ever do the the puppies. Now there is a mesh net that goes um in the car. That's a very, very good seller. Okay. So look, man, Black Friday is here. Uh so where you go. Get into it, man. Don't you know there there there's some there's some people I meet. They're ready to start, but they're worried. They they worry too much. Am I gonna make it? Is it gonna sell? Is it gonna happen? Will will I make money? Will I lose money? Business is a risk, you know, just like life is. Life is a risk. You don't know what's gonna happen the next second of your life. Same thing in business. You just don't know. But you got to, you got to, you know, I'm not telling you to go and buy thousands of dollars. Start slow, man. Start with $50. Start with $100. Start with $500. Just start. Make that move. Now, the difference is if you have no knowledge on it, go, you know, go on YouTube. Here, go on YouTube. Go on my channel. I, 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 you know, I, I, I talk a lot about Amazon stuff. I even show you how to do the research, how to do PPC. I show you the basics. Learn from there. You can buy the course from me if you want to become proficient. If you want to be, uh, you know, professional in the industry, you can buy the course. But start. What, you know how much money we waste every single day of our lives? We waste a lot of money, right? Spending here, spending there. Take that money, invest it into a business. What's the worst is going to go? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Get out. If it works, you're going to love me. You're going to thank me for life. Dog, uh, what you call uh, net for cars. Okay, this, my friends, is a very, very good seller on Amazon. Amazing. It's like three, two, three dollars. I bought it like a few months ago, and there was this one guy on team who was selling it for dollar nineteen. And I bought I'm really stupid. I tell you something how stupid I am. Excuse my language. <laughs> I should have bought thousands of them, and he had lots, and I only bought five hundred. And guess what? The next time I went in, he went back to three twenty four. I sold it on Amazon for you know fourteen ninety nine piece, but now it's you know. But definitely, man, you gotta do puppy stuff, dogs, cats, rabbits, mice, whatever pets you have, pigs, horses. Nowadays, you see the YouTube videos; they have tigers and lions. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I have, uh, but look, this is, you know, this is good stuff. You got to do it, man. You got to do it. 
Don't think, man. If you think, you're going to think for life. Uh, let's look at some more, more things. What sells good? Tools. Tools is huge. It's a big business, my friend. Huge business. And let's see if we can find... There we go. Okay. Things that are different. Things that you can do some research. Things that you can sell. You know, this is an interesting product. You might think, what do I need? But let me tell you something. If you look at my laptop, <laughs> I really need that brush right now. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Nano sponge. So, look. You know, tools is good sellers. Home improvement stuff are good sellers. Kitchen. All of these are good sellers. So, don't wait. If you live in the United States, man, jump after these deals. Get things together and make it happen. Okay. This is a very good product, but it failed for me. For me also, it failed. It's a very good product. It failed because of the weight and the size. This, this is a product that I sold when I was new on Amazon. I didn't know anything about Amazon, just like most of you. <laughs> and I made a mistake, and I learned my lessons, but I did not give up. I just said, you know what, fine. If this is not working out, let me go after something else. Did I lose money? Of course, we all lose money. But if you don't lose money, you will not understand how to make money. You got to lose to make. In order to make money, you got to spend money. So it's all the good stuff. Okay. What is this one? This is egg refrigerator. This is wooden puzzle airship. That's an interesting pro product right there. Let's see. 3D. I'm just curious of this product right here. I'm sure some Baba would be selling this for cheap where you can make really good money on this. Some Baba or some Bambino is selling it really cheap. Let's see. Okay. Look at this. 105. No competition. Golden product for you. But I, I hope they're not selling it for cheap. Oh, la, la. There you go. Here's one Baba. You see? Told you, man, people are really 975. Wow. This is with the wheel. Cost seven bucks. Nope. Well, this is the guy who's selling exactly the same. But he doesn't know. He's not doing anything. This one is doing 975. This one is doing 290. Let's see how many more expensive ones. Okay. Let's see. These are two guys. We need five. Five, five. That's the same guy. Oof. You see, the same guy is popping up three, four places. So what is he doing? He's targeting. <laughs> he's promoting his product for many different locations. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Well, the way he's doing it, I like it. He's a professional guy. So here's one guy. You know, that's what it should be selling at. It's, you know, it's like a collector's item. But uh, would I do it? No. The reason why is too cheap. If you buy it for seven bucks, 
and you sell it here for eight seventy nine. It's not worth it. But it's a nice product. Uh, crystals. Let's look at crystals. <laughs> Crystal something. Crystals. Okay, these loose crystals, they sell really good. Okay, let me share with you a technique. I just shared it with a customer, but the customer decided not to do it, so I'm going to share it with you. It's it's an amazing, amazing technique. You put it together, this product, you're going to make amazing, amazing money on this, okay? You got to combine three, four, five items in order to do this. You can sell them as the combination of the mixed products, and you can sell them as individually separate, however you like. This becomes very creative. And let me tell you something. These products are going to make you a lot of money. I mean, if you just get into this, you're going to see the difference. I'm going to share with you uh, the five products that I want you to concentrate on. And now's the right time to jump on Timu and buy them. And you're going to buy them, buy as many, whatever is your budget allows you buy. Okay. Let's see. So this one is crystal stones. Okay. This one is going to be cells. This one is going to be sage. Uh, what is it? Sage, sage something. Uh, this one is going to be, I forgot the name of it. Let me see if I can find it here somewhere. Let me see, I was looking at this product just a couple of days ago. Let me see if it's in my history. Okay, I think it's Panto. Uh -huh. Let me see if it's in my cart. Sometimes I talk about products and sometimes what I do is I put them in my cart so I know later how to go after. Oppa, Bambinos. All right, let me see. What is it called, man, this product? Anyway, I'm going to find it here. Because it's always sold with this product. Okay, this, this one, with Palo Santo. <laughs> Palo Santo sticks. And the last thing you are going to do is you are going to do incense. Um, incense, uh, not the sticks. But the incense uh, cones. And, okay, you can do the cones, you can do incense sticks, and you can do, um, here it is. No. There we go. Backflow burner. Grab them together and see the magic man. Okay. Crystals. Buy these cheap, like the bulk ones, you know, buy like the 224, like this. <laughs> and one more item, this one. Oh my god, this one is crazy, crazy, crazy. Is the triangle prism that you put in front of your front of your house it brings magic powers good stuff 
and buy them cheap and then you become creative so i i actually shared this product with the customer it's all it's already done for you and there's nobody on amazon selling it so i don't want all of you to go buy this and jump on amazon and <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, it's like I have 10 new customers and they're all selling the same thing. Don't do that, man. Just be creative. Okay. Try to add stones. Try to add some shells. Try to add this, some sage. Play around. I'm telling you, this is huge, huge business. Amazing. You mix the crystals. <clears throat> You know, you mix the crystals, you got crystals, you got the small, small ones the kids love. Like those pouches I showed you before earlier in this uh, video. Buy those pouches, cheap ones, you know, nice quality, cheap ones, five, ten cents. Then put it in this, you know, you put the crystals, you put different, different ways. And then you make like a box like this, You 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 put it in a in a box like this and then you put in the pouch and you this and this let me tell you something the box with everything in it if even if it's cost you seven or eight dollars you are going to make good money on amazon okay i'm telling you from experience i i actually here in miami i had a lady from guatemala i used to pay her to do the the variations for me um but unfortunately she she moved somewhere else and i, I it's just you know i did it for a very long time and it's okay but man she was creative she used to i used to give her the products and she used to take pictures she used to pack for me she used to create it in different different ways i just don't have the time to do that stuff and I don't have the, 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 the you know, I, I did speak with other people doing it, but is it was just her. There's no comparison, okay? That's how that's how good she was. It was just her. So you can do, you know, with the Alba, Alba, Ablon polish shells, you can make nice, you know, you can make really, really nice, group it together, uh, do the sage. Do the polo sticks. Bring it together. Do like these. You're going to see all of these are on Timu right now. All of them are there. Instant sticks. Make it beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one thing that you can really do that nobody on Amazon is doing right now. You see all these products that I'm sharing with you? Put it with this one with the backflow burner with these products and you're going to do amazing okay this one is a very very good seller so which ones you want to do in the backflow burner number one a dragon dragon sells really really good number two is the skull skull products anything they do really really good um so, you know, you create one like this and you see a lot of these guys, they're basically giving the cones away. But if you come up with the creativity of this plus this and this and this, then it makes it like a, like a yoga meditation place, you know, like a nice. People want that stuff. And if you decide to do something like these items, then I would highly highly recommend you to sell it over here because you're going to sell it on Amazon, but you are going to sell it here at more price, at a much higher price from Amazon, and you're going to sell in volume. Etsy is amazing. I have some gift items here. I tell you, what I sell on Amazon for 20 bucks, look, all of my products, like 90% of my products on Amazon are above 30 bucks. I don't even get into the 510 Mickey Mouse stuff because that's where all the crazy things happen. Man, end of the day, I want to see profit and I want to see good profit. I don't want to play around with 
there's a couple of items that I do, but everything else, I stay away. I stay away as much as possible. There's millions of items. Why everybody wants to go after the same? I, I stay away from this stuff. Okay? So, I'm going to give you a basic example. Look at Sage. So I'm going to put Sage. Um, follow Six and crystal set. Let's see this product on Timo. So I put a combination of this. Okay, five dollars forty seven cents. Here, you see, look at it. It's crazy. Look, look how they did it. Twenty four ninety nine. Look at this. Twenty-two forty-five. You know, look at it. If some cuckoo is selling away stuff for for cheap like this guy, man, buy it from me, all of it. <laughs> You're not gonna get cheaper than five sixty-seven. How many is he selling? Wholesale bulk bundles. Get it, man. Look at this. Become creativity. Now, if I do the same search on Amazon. Right, you ready for this? If I'm gonna do the same search on Amazon, you're gonna see people fighting over there. Let them fight. Look, see what I told you? This is, you know, some people just don't have brains. They don't understand. You're in the market to make money. You're not in the market to give away products. At the end of the day, who's making money and who's benefiting? The customer is benefiting by getting it for the super cheap price. And Amazon is making money because in Amazon, the seller struggles the most. If you don't know this, this is the real fact of Amazon. <laughs> but <laughs> it's okay. We struggle, but we still make whatever we make, we make, right? But look at these crazy prices, man. $12.99. I mean, so what you need to do, my friends, go to Timu this Black Friday. Grab as much as you can. If you have $2,500 to invest, take five of these products, five, 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 five different products, 500 each, order. You want to go cheaper, 300 of each product, order. Then you build it up. No, you know, try to get something with boxes. If you can't get with boxes, no problem. Go to Uline. Buy it. Man, they, they have some really good prices on Uline. Uh, they're not cheap, but they have good quality. And then come on Timu. Become creative. Not on Timu, sorry. Come on Etsy. Become creative. And look at this. Forget these idiots. Um, sell it, man. Look at this. 2880. What is your profit? Between this one, if I just look at this, let's say these are probably like 50, 60 cents. Three dollars. Nothing, man. It's like hardly five dollars worth of products over there. 2880. That's called a businessman. You know, look at this. Beautiful. Crystal bracelet. Got some shells, got some stones, create some bottles like these let me see this one this one looks really nice for 40 bucks man even i'll get to work <laughs> you know let's see gift altar crystal ships from florida where i live maybe i should go give them a visit um almost twenty thousand reviews man look at this it is nice. So let me see if I can find these small bottles over here. Um, let's see if we can find these bottles already made up. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Dollar ninety-eight. Okay, it's not bad. You don't have to 
you don't have to put anything. It comes included in there, right? Or let me see, 1598, one piece bamboo, dollar 85, you see? Make it up. So probably what this person is adding is probably a nice 10, $12 gift pack. Okay, $12, even 15 bucks. It's still not bad. You still make money. You still make good money. So <laughs> you better do a meeting with me. And we're going to do a nice meeting. I'm going to tell you about products. And you can really, really make good, good money. Now, before you guys go, one last thing I'm going to tell you. Many years ago, I used to sell this product. But just by looking at this, I, I got the idea of tea infuser this is a product that i sold thousands of units every single month it's still selling on amazon i don't know how much it is but it is really really good seller I had only two competition at that moment, only two. I'm sure they still exist, but there was the only two competition there. Um, see, thousand results. Let me see. <clears throat> yep, I, I see my competition right there. But wow, wow, amazing. She was my main competitor right here, this one. Is to make the flask, so all she's doing is you just change the design of the bottle. This one, this one. Look, it used to cost me from China eight bucks. This one, eight dollars. I'm talking probably four years back. Um, why I gave up? Uh, I, I had partners at that time. Now I don't. Thank God. I had partners and one says this and the other says that. And no, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's no winning. There's no winning part. I'm not against partnership. I still have partners. Until today, I have partners. But at that time, just didn't work out. This was my second uh, most competitor. Okay. I used to pay like $6.50 for the bottle and the packaging. Everything used to cost me $8.50. So let's see if I can find this item again on Timo. Uh, I know that the prices have gone up since last time I saw it. But if I can find this product again, I would definitely go back because it's it's always a demanding product. That glass bottle, this kettle with the infuser, very good seller. The kettle with the glasses, very, very good seller. Um, it's a product that's an everyday need, you know. So sometimes... You may want to carry some products. That is the everyday you need. You can make money. This one, you put your berries and you put your fruits and vegetables. So, you know, look into these products. Look, in this video, I've shared a lot of products with you. Go in there, jump, man. Instead of going Black Friday shopping for your house, go out there for your business. You sit on your computer and you just go pop, 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 and order. Okay? Just go and order. I'm telling you, if you can make, you know, $100 to $150, $500 to $700, $1,000 to $1,300, you know, look at, look at a 30%, 25-30% at markup. I know it's not a lot, but if you have products, hundreds and thousands of dollars on Amazon and you get a 25% markup, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you got 100,000 and you got 25% markup, that's $25,000 net profit every single month. That's $300,000 a year. Now, now you, you're gonna say, oh, okay. Believe me, I've, I've helped sellers. I still have two sellers that do about $2 million a month in sales, okay? So 
if they're doing two million dollars a month in sales and they got this much profit but you know it is it is what it is all right my friends thank you so much for watching so black friday is here make sure to if you want to start your business man just make sure to go for it if you want to make an appointment with me, I have give my appointments all over the place. <laughs> you can reach out to me. You can catch me on YouTube. Just send a message. I give you the link over there. However it is, the, the solution here is to find the products. I showed you how to look for products. And go for it, man. Just go for it. <laughs> and we're going to figure it out. We're going to work it out, you know. Not every seller is a winner. So you, you want to take advantage of the market? Let's do it. All right. Sanjay Vadwani here with Lies in Marketing. And I wish you all the best. Happy Thanksgiving to all. And uh, look for my next video. I'm going to share with you a trick on PPC, what to do on Black Friday. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you again. Bye-bye.